What is up everyone, it's DB and I'm back in Roblox Islands to do part two of our 100 Days in Islands. If you haven't watched that video yet, definitely go and check it out. It's gonna give you everything you need to know about this series. So if you didn't watch that, like I said, go definitely watch that because otherwise you're gonna be really confused with what's going on. But as a quick refresher, this is actually only hardcore, so I am not allowed to trade. So I am not gonna ever be going to any of these islands over here. I'm never gonna be trading with anyone. So this is all through hardcore grind. So we gotta actually grind for everything we've got. Oh, look at few shop. Yeah. Well, let me have some radish seeds, dude. Can I actually buy seven? I don't think I have that much money. So I need to go sell some stuff. But before I begin, if you can do me a solid and hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, that helps a ton. Ooh, pirate guy. Come here, pirate guy. Davy, come here. Yes, I want to help Davy. I got a map. Okay, so the other thing we need to do, we need to replant these. We're going to have to go try to get as much money as we can. What we can do is we don't actually have to buy all of our radish seeds at once, by the way. So even though I can, you know, I can't afford eight, I can actually afford what we can now. So let's buy what we can now, which is going to be a couple of these. So at least I can plant these now and start, you know, accumulating. Ooh, did we get our gold? Oh, no, it's copper. I was hoping it would be gold because we could actually use a gold drill pretty soon here, but it's just copper. So maybe we'll get our gold pretty soon, maybe tomorrow. If you remember the last video, we actually completed two steel mills. We also got the smelter so we can actually get steel now. Look at, man, that's a nice accumulation. We got 20 already. So next, what we're going to be doing, we don't have enough to be able to make this thing yet. This tier four, we don't have a red bronze refinery. So we're going to need that. We're also going to need some hickory saplings, but in order to be able to get a red bronze refinery, we need a bunch of stuff still. So you can see it. I'm going to need still plates, copper rods, still rods. So what that means is we actually need to start getting this. We need a drill. So I already have enough crystallized iron. I already have enough blue sticky gears. I don't have enough steel rods. So and I only have 20 steel. So we're going to wait a little while on this and see what we can do. We can also maybe set up a randomizer. That might be interesting because look how much um, iron is sitting in here. So if I were to set up a randomizer, I could actually use one smelter against two steel mills and then feed them all together. So I just need a randomizer. So I need four steel rods. So I'm still going to need a lot of steel to be able to do that. So I need to 100 still. I only have 20. So we'll wait a little while on that. Let's for now, let's go sell and get some money so we can buy some more radish seeds. So as a reminder, we stopped at like day 16 in the last video and every day cycle is basically 20 minutes in the game. So that's pretty much how we're calculating how many, how long we've been in the game. Cause otherwise it's impossible to see <laughs> while you're out here, how many days have you been in the game? The other great thing about this is um, my bonus XP has actually reset. So I'll actually have bonus XP for combat, which is awesome. So I can actually afford more seeds from this guy might be enough let me see Let's see how many we can do it looks like i can buy three more seeds i'm down there okay so i'm gonna go and plant these so we got even more still so that means what we can do is we can actually make one still rod so we got one more so we need three more and what we can do is we can actually create a randomizer i think it's gonna only cost one crystallized iron um i don't have any more totems though so we need like a crystallized iron farm but yeah this is basically what you do is you're gonna put this is where the iron's gonna spawn and you're just gonna pretty much sit here and just hold down and you can farm like infinitely <laughs> you can even auto farm that if you wanted to it's pretty cool so what i'm going to do is while our radishes and stuff are growing i'm going to go ahead and farm some more xp because we do need to get to wizard island really close to wizard island we also will eventually need some buffalo core crystals we don't need them quite yet but we will eventually so let's see what we can get out there oh can i actually sell yeah i've got a bunch of slimes i forgot about these these are going to give me a bunch of money too let's go ahead and sell all of this okay so i've got uh, another three thousand we're going to wait a little while we're not in a rush so let's go over and start attacking some buffalo core you know i'm going to actually go do the slime boss too because he's back man the number of times i I'm so glad I don't have to make another smelter right now. I do not want to have to ever make another smelter again. I'll keep farming this guy off and on throughout the days, but I don't really want to have to you know, like specifically go out and get more pink sticky gears. It took forever. It just took so long. By the way, my combat XP daily bonus is back. So I can actually start using that again. So I should be able to get a lot of XP from killing this guy. Same for the buffa core. And what's great is as your daily bonus comes back, it actually increases the amount you can actually get each time. So, but I'm going to show you what I mean in a second. Typically, when you first start out in the game, your combat XP is really bad. But like, yeah, I just leveled up to 18. So let's go to Buffacore Island. We'll go kill some Buffacore. And then we're going to try to unlock Wizard. Because Wizards have the spell pages and we need that spell book. Because spell books are the way to go. If you're looking for like the best weapon in the game, spell books are your friend. By the way, you might notice I've got my DV shoulder buddy here. I love my shoulder buddy. So of course, you know, I pretty much had to buy it on my alt here. So one thing I was actually going to hold off announcing, by the way, is I'm actually going to give away my entire inventory on this account once 
once the 100 days are over, we're pretty much gonna give away the inventory. Pretty awesome. Okay, so we got um, a little bit of XP here. Pretty good. We're about to level up again. But yeah, so the items in this account are currently not great, but um, by the time I'm done, I'm pretty sure my inventory is gonna probably, I, I'd, I'd say it's gonna be worth about 50 to 100 million once I'm done with this account. We'll see. All right, we're already level 19. And I'm about to level up again, just killing those two. This bonus is such a help. I, you know, I think a lot of people underestimate the value of just letting your bonus refresh and just waiting until the next day instead of trying to like grind nonstop. Waiting a day is actually huge. Like just go to your different skills, do your wood, do your, your mining, do your combat, do your foraging, do your animal XP, do your farming until the XP is up and then wait until the next day. Here we go. We're going to level again. There we go. So we leveled up so we can actually access Wizard Island. All right. So now we're going to go straight to Wizard. We don't really need to hang out here anymore. We could if we wanted to, like if we're trying to grind like Buffalo Core crystals or something, but we're not. So we're going to go straight to Wizard Island because we really need that. Now the hope is we can actually get a wizard shard at some point because having a portal out here would be such a huge help. I mean, portal shards are incredibly useful. So if that's the one thing you can grind, definitely do it. I mean, the value never really goes down because they're so rare and everyone needs them, you know? Harvesting radish and stuff, you can actually sell this to the adventurer. So I usually just like grab it. It's not much, but it's free money. So you're basically passing by free money if you don't pick it up. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna kill the boss first because he's gonna give me a ton of XP while I have a bonus. And then we're gonna go after the wizards afterwards. Plus you have a chance to get a, uh, a static scepter if you kill this guy you get a chance to get this really good weapon now he is hard so be careful out here you know you can actually die pretty easily out here so make sure you're just being careful and just kind of circle him keep a nice distance away from him he does hit hard you can pretty much do a flawless run with them but when he does a static throw like this, you usually take a little damage, but no, I missed it. I just circle like this. I keep my mouse in place and I just run circles around him. So even though I'm a pretty weak character right now with just a stone sword, I can actually do pretty good with him. And as you level up your combat, you're going to be getting so much more health and damage. Combat doesn't actually increase your damage. The weapon types do. So like when you're looking at the skills, look at um, like heavy weapons and light melee. This is a light melee that I'm using right now. Heavy weapon is going to be like your hammers and iron axe and stuff. Interesting enough, the great obsidian sword, um, that one is actually heavy. So that one does not use light melee. Ooh, that hurt. He hit me pretty hard. When he does his animation, just back up a little bit. Thankfully, we have um, health regen now. Ow. So it does help quite a bit. We used to have to do this without regen. So we'd have to run to the side of the map to heal. No, we don't have to do that. All right, we got him. All right, we just got some empty potions, but look at look at my level. I just leveled up twice. We got like 1200 XP for that. Huge. All right, so we're healing up again. Let's go ahead and kill these guys for a bit. These guys are gonna take a lot longer early on, but eventually you're gonna be able to one-shot these. Assuming you can get like, um, if you can get like a, a spell book, because they do have a chance to give you or drop pages. And you just need three pages to get a spell book. It's really cheap. You just have to, you you gotta kill a lot of them and you'll get a spell page. These guys do hit hard, so you do not want to get hit by the wizards. <laughs> they hit really hard. So I actually, there's another technique I like to use. If you can see how I'm just running in circles, what I do is I keep my mouse on the actual enemy and then I just do run circles around them while staying at like a decent distance. It seems to work with the wizards pretty well. I just do this and I'm getting lots and lots of kills this way. And I, I take minimal damage. I do get hit sometimes, but I'm, you know, I'm still alive. I'm still got plenty of health. And it keeps them kind of centered. Like they don't, they just keep turning on me. So you can see combat actually went up quite a bit. Look at this. Look at my combat maximum. I don't know when it did that, but it's at 12,000 now. It's crazy. So we can keep going and we're going to continue to get combat XP because of that. So that's a huge help for us. We'll keep climbing that, but we're level 27 already. And now our sword's doing 21 to 28 damage. It's getting a little easier to kill these guys. Not by much though. Spellbook's definitely still the way to go. We only have one spell page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue grinding these until we get to three spell pages. And then uh, after that, we're going to go to Desert Island. We're going to kill the boss and then we're going to go to Pirate Island and Spirit Island. So that's the goal of this update, you know, or this video. I wonder how much an iron sword's going to do. I don't think it does that much more. Wow, look at all the iron we're getting. That's all just kind of stuck in there. Dude, we got a lot of iron just now. We got a hundred of iron now. I just need one more, I think, for the randomizer and then we're going to be able to fix this up. So yeah, I just need one more still rod for the randomizer. So, and we're kind of, we just need seven more, five more. So yeah, we're pretty close. So let's go farm some more out here with the wizards and then we'll come back in a little bit. Oh, speaking of, um, just to start things up with the, you know, pirate map. So if you haven't done this, you just look at your pirate map. I'm going to go and get my treasure chest real quick. I mean, it might give us a better sword too. We never know. Like you have a chance to get a really good sword. So we're going to dig this up right now. So let's get our shovel. Oh wait, did they make it so we can't actually get a shovel now? So we have to make our own shovel now. So let's go back. We got to make our own shovel now. They used to give you one for free. So we got to craft that real quick. Let's go back out. I mean, it's probably going to be like chandeliers or something, but you know, we have a chance to get a really, really good weapon in the game. And let's go back to our island and see what we got. Plus we get a chest. I mean, 
Maybe we could put stuff in a chest now. So let's see what this is. Boom. What is it? Give me that rapier sword. Captain's rapier is such a good weapon. Oh my gosh. I thought I had it. Uh, we got a shark. You know, we can actually sell that shark. So that's not too bad. Let's go back to the main and then let's get our... Oh, you know what? Let's just wait. We can set up a randomizer right now. That way we can make more while we're actually out and about. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay. So what I'm doing right here is I'm actually... Um, if you're wondering why I'm digging, it's because it's just going to be easier for us when we're making our, our load balancer. So there we go. Because I'm going to have to put a steel mill right here. In fact, we're going to have to move it over just a little bit more. Steel mills are so weird about their space. They require so much space. I don't know why they need so much space, to be honest. See, we can't get too close to it. We can get that close, I guess. This is going to go and drop right here. We have three more conveyor belts. So we could actually feed this temporarily if we wanted to manually. We could just put a, like, a little coal totem here. I don't have any extras, but I can go buy one. But basically what we could do is we could just manually feed iron into this like we did before until we can afford the conveyors. Because I only have two more conveyors and they do require still rods. See, we're going to need to make a left turn for sure. So I'm going to go, oh, we got four still rods. Oh, because we're going to make a randomizer. Well, you know what? Let's just go and use the still rods for now because we'll get more of those. We'll get more randomizers soon. So let's take that out. We'll get more still rods pretty soon. So we'll take that out. All right, let's just kind of pile this this way. There's going to be a randomizer here. So it's going to go straight and then it's going to go to the right. So it's going to be like right here. And then it's going to be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a corner. So I need like nine. I need like nine still rods. It's a lot of still rods. Well, we'll get them. We'll get them soon. I'm going to make a better sword because this is going to be a better weapon. I could make this one, but I need another crystallized iron. And oh man, should I do it? Yeah, I'm thinking no. So let's go. You know what? I'm going to do a couple things here real quick. I'm just going to make the iron sword instead. That should be pretty good for us. I'm super close on this one. I just need two more red pages. So I'm going to grind that area. We're definitely in need of constant crystallized iron though. I've noticed that. That's the one thing about you're going to, you're going to notice in this game, you need lots of crystallized iron to be able to craft stuff. So you can always just buy it. Or, you know, if you're not doing hardcore, you can just go straight up to an island and buy the stuff that you need and just grind other ways of money. But like crystallized iron is definitely, if you're going to be crafting, if you're going to do hardcore, be prepared to make a nice crystallized iron farm. So that's what we're going to be doing after we get some more money here. Now, I actually think that players would, you know, kill mobs more if you could actually earn money from them like you know maybe a little bit of money each time you kill a mob downside is hackers so hackers would just farm money that way and it would be really unfair for the player base so all right we're doing 29 21 to 29 damage it's not much better to be honest i don't see any difference here stone versus iron not really a difference not even worth making the iron version iron version is the same as stone it's kind of disappointing i'm pretty sure i did a video on these and i noticed that the were pretty much the same all right just unlocked the new zone we got um desert island Let's go over there and try to kill Baha. It's going to be a pretty rough, you know, considering Baha is a pain to kill. The other thing we got up here is three more minutes for this one. So as soon as we're done with Baha, we're going to come back and we're going to try to kill. We're going to kill this wizard boss again. Get some XP, get some at the minimum, we get potion bottles, which is money. So we'll get that at least. So let's also talk to this guy right here because he's going to give us some quests. So we can get cactus spike, you know, blueprints. We can get we can even buy cactus seeds later once we have 20 sand dollars, which is pretty good. So level 38, I'm pretty close to 38, I think. No, I'm 25 never mind so i got to do a lot more farming here so let's go ahead and take on some quests so we'll have these at least as we're going the range on these aren't very good either all right let's go in and beat baha if we can all right that should be good so let's go ahead and summon them looks like they did fix the sunlight that's cool let's try to get this guy i mean if you just circle him it should be good you just need to always be behind him when he attacks he's quite a bit of health you know for having to use a sword you're taking a lot of chances chances are we're gonna get hit and we're gonna get killed but i'll keep trying you can't make one mistake you do not want to make mistakes with this guy. So hard to do with an iron sword. I mean, I've done it with a wooden sword, but my combat level was much higher. Okay, we got him down about like a fifth. Now we're about two thirds in. It's taking forever to kill him though. Super painful. This is the longest I've ever taken to kill him. I haven't taken a single bit of damage from him though. Oh man, we're so close. About nine tenths. Well, just a sliver left. Almost a perfect run. Oh yeah, we just did a perfect run on him. And we got a ruby. Nice. We got 20, 15 gold and a ruby. And the gold's already smelted, which is sweet. But look at it. I got a ruby. First ruby already. Awesome. All right. So let's go back to my island. We're going to go ahead and farm what we've got so far. Let's check on this. This is almost full. So we can make some more still rods on that. Let's go ahead and farm all this. Okay. So we have enough. We can actually buy, I think, two totems. So let's go ahead and get um, coal and let's get an iron. Let's see. It's going to be like something like this. And then the turn's going to be right here. And then we're going to need three more. It's going to be something like that. In the meantime, let's go ahead and hook this up to a coal totem. And then we can power this guy up, drop some iron in. And we'll help this along. All right. And then the, I also want to put an iron totem right here. 
And we'll continue to build on this. And I'll just block these for now so it, I make sure it places in the correct place. So we'll have to just keep breaking that whenever we come back. So we're going to do this boss. We're going to do wizard boss next. And then we're going to go back to grinding wizards. We just need a green and a red. All right. We just got a blue sticky gear. We got a bunch of green slimes too. Cool. Okay. Let's go to do the, uh, we're going to go do the wizard boss. And then we're going to do more wizards. So what I'm hearing is this video is actually super helpful for a lot of players who don't really know what to do in the game. And that's actually fascinating to me. I guess, I guess it makes sense. Um, I think because I've been playing this game for so long, I know exactly what to do and what to get. Whereas a lot of players don't actually realize like this is the order this is what you do so you need to find what you're trying to build and then go grind for the materials it's actually quite easy to do the challenge is when you're actually trying to like grind and you're not patient about it i never thought i would get a static scepter and i finally got one i never thought i would get a title blueprint i got one you know you just got to be patient with it all right let's go for this boss he might give me a spell page i hope he does really hope he does didn't get anything special but i got some empty bottles and i got my xp that's that's kind of important we're at 37 so we pretty much unlocked everything except for 46 so as soon as we get to 46 we can go to diamond mines too so now i'm going to go back to grinding the wizards it's going to take me a while so i'll see you on the flip side when i get all of my spell pages because that is going to be a huge game changer for us once we get a better weapon huge game changer going to be so much easier we can actually also auto afk these if we wanted to granted i probably won't do that i'll probably just sit there and spam the key over and over and over while i watch a movie honestly that is the best way to play this game watch a movie while you play okay we finally got all three of our spell pages now i've been collecting the steel for a while now as well so we're we're gonna go ahead and make some more still rods we got so much of it so we got we can make five more so let's go and make our conveyors now probably need at least let's do four the randomizer needs we just need three more still rods for the randomizer and the great thing about this is you know the iron stays right here for a while all right so while that's going we're gonna go ahead and make our let's make our spell book so we finally have all the materials to make that so now we got it dude this is gonna be so much easier to kill stuff awesome and next up, what we need to do is we need to actually go out and buy some more iron totems. At the same time, we're going to go to Pirate Island and start grinding those quests. And then we'll go to Spirit Island, grind those, and, and we'll go to Desert and grind those as well. We're making some really good progress. This spell book was incredibly essential to everything. So we're now we can actually grind stuff here. Oh, the other thing I need to get is a fishing pole because we're probably going to get some fishing quests in here. We can do that in a minute, but let's go to all these quest givers. Let's make sure we get all our quests. You can see we got defeat crabs, bandits, crabs, a few quests. Okay, so break rocks. This is the fishing one. Here's the fishing one. So we need to capture puffer fish, sharks, and catch 10 fish. Now this one's a little harder to do, but let's go and um, can we sell these? Yeah, let's sell a shark. There we go. Got 450 from him. In the meantime, let's just continue talking to all these. So we need to break rocks. There's a couple more over here. Here's the botanist. So pick kiwis. And then he wants to sell me stuff. So he wants me to sell me another treasure map, which we're not going to do. So let's go out and get our kiwi, grab some of those, go kill some crabs. And um, as you'll see, we'll check out the damage on this thing. This is just base damage is 57. This is why we don't use swords. Another magic level. So we're doing 62 damage now. I'll say the one thing I wish this game did, um, which they'll probably add eventually, is showed like a quest log or something, because I always forget about what quests I'm on. I'm on the Slayer one. Okay, so we got four more crabs to do. Four 14 actually so if we do 14 then we get these two and then we got to do 13 bandits so we'll do 14 more crabs all right let's go return these quests and then we got to go do bandits 25 doubloons let's go do our bandits all right we just need six more of these guys and five more pretty easy to do they also have a chance to drop you um obsidian which i've never gotten from them but they have a chance to do that not obsidian but um crystallized obsidian and we got a bone block and we're getting gold gold's pretty cool okay that should have been enough so let's go return that quest there we go so i'm up to 40 doubloons we need to do some more botanist stuff. Let's see. What do we need to do here? Uh, we need to do 12 more kiwis. This is going to be easy. Six more and then we're good. All right. That one's all done. So we can go back to the florist. After this, we need to do the obsidian. So we need to break a bunch of obsidian blocks. And that's how we're going to get crystallized obsidian. So let's go to the botanist. So it looks like we can do it in an hour. Wow. Returns in one hour. That's a way to grind it. Did they actually increase the speed of these? Hold on. Whoa. They, they all return in an hour. This used to be a lot longer. It's only an hour now. Wow. We can actually grind this really fast okay so we can actually get our sword really fast it used to be so many hours it used to be like 18 hours one hour is no problem at all all right let's just do a couple of these and then we got to go back but here see these um obsidian rocks this is how you get obsidian and crystallized obsidian it doesn't take long to get it too you get good xp too look at my mining xp it's really easy like, like this is a great way to get mining xp it's probably one of the 
best ways to get mining XP in my opinion, because it's super accessible. Like you don't, you, you can pretty much be a level like one and start grinding this right away. So let's get this out so you can see when we get our crystallized obsidian. We'll just grind this until we get a, um, one crystallized obsidian. Mining is leveling up so fast. There we go, we already got it. It was really fast, really easy to get it. In my opinion, it's faster to get than um, crystallized iron. Feels like it is. I've gotten so much of it. I guess the fact that you can't get totems of obsidian yet. Another totem right here, get our steel. And I think we just need one more. Let's see. Yeah, the randomizer just needs one more steel rod. We have enough for, you know what? We can actually get one right now. There we go. We should be able to make it now. Cool. So we got our steel rod. Let's go ahead and make our randomizer. We're going to set that up back here. Look at all that coal. Grab all that. All right, let's set up our randomizer right there. And then we can back up our smelter right there. And then we just need a couple blocks. Okay, so now it's automatically gonna do it. It's pretty much gonna go this way. And we're in good shape though. That's gonna speed up so much. So that way, now what's gonna happen is the iron's gonna randomize between these two steel mills and it won't just like gather up in one anymore. It'll actually start piling up on both. So that's awesome. If we had a third steel mill, we'd actually be able to balance this even further, but then we'd need more randomizers and stuff. Just not worth it. Plus we get plenty from this. Now the downside is this is actually gonna fill up a lot faster. So eventually we're gonna have to make a in and out chest right here so that we can use more space because otherwise it's going to fill up way too fast. So what we'll probably want to do eventually is make one of these right here, but we require forging level 62. So because of that, what's our forging right now? It's only 37. So yeah, we've got a ways to go before we can actually unlock this one. We've done most of the pirate quests. We just have a few more pirate quests. We made it to Wizard Lizard Island. We made it to Desert Island. Doing pretty good progress considering. See what we need to do here. I'm not going to do the fishing quests. I know that's wild, but I was going to, but the fish in here are not very good. Like I will tell you, it's really hard to get sharks and puffer fish. We got these. We need to do 11 more and one more. So we'll go do 11 11 more blocks. But yeah, for some reason, you know, those quests are going to be really hard to do. I would not recommend trying the fisherman quests unless they make them easier. It's just too hard. You got 10 more of these rocks to do. And we just got another crystallized <laughs> obsidian. I think we should be good. Let's go ahead back. We'll just kind of break these on the way back because it gives us XP. I do need a hilt to be able to make the obsidian sword. So that's what we're going to be redeeming for is that hilt. Let's go return our miner quests. There we go. And these are going to return in an hour. So we got 90 doubloons right now right here. It, the hilt is 250. Yeah. So it's going to take us a little while for sure. Um, we don't need to buy any obsidian because we can get those for free. Oh, we can sell these though. Let's go ahead and sell the bones because we don't need those. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait a little while longer on this. So we'll probably finish that quest in our next video. So let's go back and we're going to do Spirit Island next. Oh, potion bottles. Look how much, how much money I just made off potion bottles. It's a lot. Okay, everything's sold. So we just got, we're up to 11,000 from that. So we're already up to level 40, by the way. So six more levels, we're going to get to diamond. If we were, if we still had daily bonus XP, we would be there already. So look, it only takes like two hits to kill these wizards now. He used to take us like four or five hits. Now, if you're wondering if the title blueprint or title spellbook's worth getting, it certainly is if you're gonna farm a lot of slimes. But beyond that, it's not really that great. Or you know, it helps with scorpions a little bit too. But overall, it's not that it's not that great. Okay, so for this guy, let me see quests. I still need to defeat some more scorps. Need to grow some cactus. We can't do that until we have cactus seeds. We need to defeat some gold scorps, and then I'm not gonna go fishing. So let's do some scorps then. Need to kill like three more. You see, just by leveling up our magic a little bit, we're already at 83. We're almost not quite, but we're almost like four times as much as where we started. So let's see how much, what do we need? So quests, we needed five scorps. We need to do three more golds and then three pieces of cactus, which we can't do. Looks like all the quests are in an hour now. Nice, so we don't actually need days anymore. So that's like uh, an hour would be like the equivalent of three days in islands. So if you're wondering what's going on with our co-op hardcore series, don't worry, there's another episode coming up. Um, I need to do a little bit more work in that um, to help them out, but they're actually doing something really awesome. It's a surprise. So it's still a secret, but I will show you their progress. They've been doing crazy, crazy cool work. You're going to love what they've built. All right, let's see how we're doing because I think I just need one more gold. Yeah, I need one more gold scorp and we're done with that one. We're so close to reaching 100 damage. Look, we're at 93 right now. And here's our gold. So this should be the last one we need. And then we're going to go finish our drill. I think that's the next piece we got to do. We got to get that drill done. So complete this one. We're going to wait an hour for the rest. We got 100 so far. We need another 100. We just need four more and we can make our drill, our first drill. Now the downside is I don't have any extra. So we're going to need not only the drill, but we're going to need some conveyor belts. And on top of that, we got to smelt it. So that means we'll need a filter. So let me see how much is a filter. So that's still going to be easier and cheaper than buying another smelter. Okay. So that's not too bad. Oh, I could do that. Okay. So we'll just, we'll continue farming crystallized iron over here. So as we head out to slime Island to get to spirit Island, 
I will say that Spirit Island does not have much that's useful. So like if you're just trying to make progress in the game, I'm going to show you what their store is. You can go over here and view the shop. It's all decorative stuff. So there's no weapons or anything like that. Um, they do have spirit seeds. What spirit seeds are going to do is they're going to give you a crystal, which you could then use for making um, neon blocks, which is really cool that they actually added neon blocks in the game. So it's not going to really help you all that much, but um, we're going to go and grind some anyway, because, you know, it's nice to have. So we do need some nets. So this is the hardest one, which is the green spirits. The blue spirits are pretty painful too. These are all, the rest are pretty easy. So I'm going to go back to my island. We're going to make a net. All right, let's go catch some spirits with my spirit net. No, it's just a regular net. <laughs> okay, we got a red one. There's an orange one. So we need like 20 orange ones or something crazy. Oh, I see a green one or a blue one. I think that's blue. Oh, another one. You do get animal XP, which is pretty cool. There's another blue one. So we've caught a lot already. I just don't know that I've caught any greens yet. So let's go see what our progress is like. All right, let's see what we got. We did this one, this one, and as expected, we can't find any greens yet. Greens are just really hard to find. All right, no such luck for the green one. We'd have to reset servers, I think, to be able to find it because it's just not spawning. So we're gonna go do some bosses in the meantime. Let's go back to our island because I think Baha should be available by now. Ooh, can we actually make, hold on. I think we can make our drill now. Yeah, we can. So we just, we're going to make our drill. Perfect. So we got our drill finally. Okay. Which one should we do? I'm thinking, um, I'm going to do this one over here. Yeah, I think it'll go this way. We need to hook it up with the conveyor. So we got to wait until we have a little bit more steel to be able to do the conveyor, but we're pretty close. We're up to 18,000 so far. We'll buy a bunch of crops in a little bit. Let's go get the bosses. So this guy's going to be so much easier. All right. We got, um, what do we get from him? We got slime balls. We probably got some more green stickies too. We're definitely gonna have to start farming these guys as much as I've been avoiding them because we're gonna need buffalo core crystals pretty soon. So we'll just kind of do a little bit with them. Anytime we're passing by, we'll kill like three of them. Oh, I just got a buffalo core crystal. Dude, that was so easy. I got it off like four kills. We'll see if we can maintain that luck with the wizard. I want that scepter. It might not be very good, but it's definitely good at my level. Can I one shot these guys yet? No, pretty close though. Oh, it's six more minutes for this guy. Okay, Baha should be up. So let's go do Baha and we'll come back to wizard boss. All right, here's the boss. Let's go. That was like 10 times faster. I remember doing this with the sword the last time with them. It took me forever to do this. All right, we almost have him. There we go. We got him. Only 15 gold. Hey, at least we got magic levels, but 15 gold. Come on, dude. Pretty lame. I mean, I can always use gold, but come on. We're almost doing a hundred per hit. That's awesome. Yeah, he's going down so fast. He's done. And let's make our conveyors. We also need to make some wood. So that means I need to make a sawmill because we're going to need to make stairs. So let's get our sawmill. We're going to plant our coal right there. Let's go make our conveyors. All right, now this is powered. It's going to be a bit of a pain because everything's just going to keep dropping off right away. Uh, remember, we also need to make a filter. The problem is we don't have one yet, and it's going to take a little bit of more work to make that filter. Let's see how much it's going to cost. I think it's like a lot of, I think it requires a lot of steel. So let's see, we need 12 steel rods and three crystallized iron, 12 steel rods. So let's make as many as we can now. You might be wondering why I'm saying all that is because we want to share the same smelter. So the next piece we're going to have to do is, all right, let's make that medium chest real quick. I think we can make one. So we got one of these and then we'll make one of these too. So this is going to be for one of them. We need to make one of these for the copper as well. And then as soon as we have enough wood, we're going to be able to make another one of these. We'll make that and then we can make this. All right, so we got two industrial chests we're going to be able to use. One is going to be for the copper ingots, one is going to be for the steel, and one is going to be for gold eventually. So I'm still grinding for crystallized iron. It's been taking me forever. I'm still having an issue with it, but we're doing okay. We're not doing great. We're doing okay. So I think I'm going to change this up a little bit. This has been working okay as well, but it, it, the, the problem is you have to wait for the respawns. And my classic version is a lot better and a little easier to do. So I'm actually going to go and convert this over to my class classic cry iron farm so let's go ahead and set this up i'm going to set it up on the other side because we are about to set this up over here too for the farm and i don't want them to be like running into each other so we're going to go ahead and do this um we're just going to build straight across this is basically my runway and we only have 10 of these so it's basically going to be like every other like this like that and if i reset perfect okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring these back so let's do just tower of three on each of these if you haven't seen this farm in a while it's a nice little refresher for everyone it's pretty simple in fact, you know, I'm going to make a slight variation to this so we never have to replace the blocks. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and make a slight variation to this. Let's get rid of these. And this one is kind of nice because it doesn't require any kind of block replacement, whereas my old one does. Because typically what you do is you, you break the block under it, but this one's not going to require that. All right. So you see how it's like, it kind of looks like a T, but the, uh, like a reverse J. And then um, pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to put our um, totems right here. 
And then when you run through here, you're just basically gonna put your, your pickaxe right here at the edge. And we're just gonna break them that way. So you can see, we can just kind of do this. Now the downside of that is, you know, this is two blocks, that's two hits, and then otherwise it's three hits. So we just got another crystallized iron already. So much faster. We should have the next one pretty soon. Uh, my classic version, by the way, if you're wondering what my classic version is, you basically just break the blocks like this. And then you have to replace them, which is just, it's not that, it doesn't take that long. But if you're on mobile, it's kind of a pain. Let's go over here and grab our steel. And I think we have enough steel already to do what we need to do. Yeah, we do. All right, we finally got our third crystallized iron. It took us like ever. It took us forever. It took us forever. We got our 12 now. Let's go ahead and make our filter. We need to first set up some um, stairs. Let's go get our... I got to make some stairs. What am I doing? I need to make some stairs. Do a bunch of these. Okay, so we need to build some stairs out so that we can actually reach this stuff. It doesn't have to go that far because, you know, there's nothing else we're connecting to. So we don't really need it to go that far. So we'll just set it up like right here. I mean, if we ever do gold and stuff, we might need it. But for now, we can configure it this way and then we can always rebuild it once we have gold. So let's do this. We're going to go straight into the smelter. Let's get our conveyors out. It'd be like that. Let's go and put some borders on this. Let's do something like this. Let's put one more conveyor there and then we're going to shield it the top right here. And then what we can do right here, we can actually set up our, um, our totems. So we'll set up a couple more conveyors right there. See how it's coming through smoothly now? It rolls down and it, it just kind of, it'll, it'll roll straight into the smelter and the smelter will go like right here. And then we're going to set up some totems there. So we're going to need coal and then we're going to need some iron right there. We'll set up two irons. And then what's going to happen is this is going to start smelting both, right? Um, once it gets fuel, we can actually feel it now. This filter is going to be hooked up here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to select copper here. And we're going to select it to go left. And copper is just going to go into a chest. So now iron is going to go straight, right? And then we're going to put a randomizer there like that. So that way iron goes straight into the randomizer. And then these are going to go to the individual um, steel mills. But the thing I'm not going to do this time, I actually chained it last time. I'm not going to chain it this time. It's just going to be a lot less conveyors and a lot less work. So we're going to just go and put one of these in front. We just kind of get a little distance on these. Then we're going to put a coal totem for each of these like that. And then we're going to put our steel mills. You can see a lot less conveyors are used. And then let's just set up um, some chests so we can actually collect our chests from both of these. And the reason why is that the chests kept filling up. So I'd rather the chests not fill up so fast. So I'm not going to try to tie them into each other because it's not like I'm auto clicking or anything anyway. And that looks good. So we're going to get a lot of copper from this. Once I actually have a copper press, well, you know, obviously we'll just drive everything straight into that copper press, but I need molds in order to be able to do that. All right, this seems to be working pretty well. We can just clear these out whenever we think it's getting full. So we're pretty much just wrapping up like day number 31 here. You know, it's been about five hours, so it's about 15 days. So, you know, we actually did pretty good progress though. We got a lot here. We were able to get our drill finally. We got that set up over here with a filter. So we're actually farming a lot of, look at that copper. Copper is so fast. And then of course, we've got this going on over here. Got steel ingots coming out like crazy. So I've got to farm a ton of that tomorrow in order for us to be able to get molds. The molds are going to be so expensive because we need the molds to be able to actually do most of the stuff. Because the next thing here is we got to actually make a copper press. So that's going to, you know, that costs a lot of ingots. We're going to, we're well on our way. We'll definitely have a copper press by next video. But the thing is, is in order to be able to, for us to get this refinery, which is kind of my next goal, we do need to finish the steel press as well. So the steel press is going to be super expensive. But again, in order to be able to make any of this kind of, kind of stuff, we need molds. I need a plate mold and I need a rod mold. But the other cool thing is we get all these new quests again. So we're going to actually continue our quest tomorrow with the pirates. Um, we'll have to get more crystallized iron. <laughs> it's just going to be continued grind. But hey, at least we'll be able to get to diamond as well in the next video. So diamond, we're really close to. We don't need that much XP to be able to get to diamond. So be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next vid. Peace.